What's up guys, it's John with PPT. Let's talk about why Soviet armor platforms keep throwing their turrets into low orbit. If you've been following along with morbid current events, you've probably seen at least one video of the catastrophic blowout that seems to occur with shocking regularity when a Soviet-made tank is hit by anti-armor munitions, and I wanted to find out what exactly causes that. While the Warsaw Pact doctrine that informed a lot of Soviet armor design philosophy didn't often place crew survivability at the top of the list of priorities, there's a bit more to the story than that. Soviet tank design often saw the tank commander and gunner sitting atop a rotating carousel of both ammunition and propellant charges that feeds the tank's autoloader contrast to Western tank designs that generally store ammo away from the crew and within blast walls designed to contain an ammunition cook-off. While riding on an improvised rocket chair certainly isn't ideal, the autoloader carousel is in fact reasonably well armored, and it would likely take a very specific kind of penetration to spark the propellant charges contained within it. However, the carousel only holds 22 rounds, and a combat load for most Soviet tanks is somewhere in the 40s, meaning that extra ammunition winds up stored in the crew compartment of the hull which is bad. So it's likely that the propellant being stored outside the carousel actually sparks the propellant inside of it, leading to the kind of Olympic turret-tossing maneuvers that we keep seeing on video. Bye.